Hi guys, welcome to the Guitar Podcast. In this video, we're going to learn the great song by Cat Stevens called Father and Son. It's a great acoustic song. And if you play those chords, it sounds really nice on the acoustic. So let's jump in and learn all the chords of the song. The song starts with the intro, which is a very nice intro, but you need to have two guitars because one guitar is playing G and C and the second guitar is playing that lead. And when you're playing this chord, when you're ending on the C, then you play this note, which is your G, fourth fret on your G, and third fret on your E. And the next is fifth fret for your G, and fifth fret on your E. So, so it goes like the chord starts with your. G, then you have D, then you have C, then you have A minor, and then A minor seventh, and then E minor. The song has two parts. One is your verse, and one is the chorus part. The verse part goes on for two times, and then the chorus part comes. The strumming pattern is really easy. It's a half bar for the each chord, which is goes like. No half bar. It's actually three down, and then one up strum. First chord is your G major, not a change, is your D major, then just relax and take it easy, A minor 7. So four chord G, D, C and A minor 7. And goes like, it's not time to make a change, just relax, take it easy, you're still young, that's your fault, still young in the G major. It's your fault with E minor. There's so much you have to do now. So this is a very tricky part because when you go for this one, it's not your fault. There's so much A minor, A minor seventh, and you shift to G. A minor, A minor seventh, and D major. It's not time to make a change. Just relax, take it easy. A minor, A minor seventh, then D major. It's not time to make a change. Just relax, take it easy. You're still young, that's your fault. You For the chorus part, so when you're finishing your verse part, then you go for the intro. And from this from that point on, you go for how can I try to explain from your G to B minor? When I do from C major, almost the same kind of pattern, and then A minor seventh. So it goes like how can I try to explain B minor? Because when I do when it turns way again for A minor seventh, it's always been the same. From G major to E minor. It's always been the same. Same old story, A minor 7th. 
for the second part of the verse from the G major from the moment I could talk from same chord B minor I was ordered to listen then A minor 7th from the C to A minor 7th and now there's a way that I know E minor that I have to D major to go away to G major I know D major I have to go away from D to C and then G and then you go back to same thanks for watching guys I'll see you next time till then stay safe and if you like this video give a thumbs up if you have anything to say any request or anything just do it in a comment box and if you want more videos like this just do think about subscribe to the channel and I'll see you next time till then stay safe and bye bye